Coolin Ridge on the Isle of Skye is probably the, the ultimate mountaineering challenge in the UK and uh, probably the ultimate alpine challenge in the UK as well. It's, um, it's really unique. The, the nature of the terrain on Skye is um, you know, very, very rocky, very rough, really fine ridges and some very technical ground and uh, quite unique in that sense in the UK. But it's also um, on a Scottish island off the west of Scotland in quite a remote place for a lot of people. You know, it's a long way up. And uh, that adds to the, to the sort of what's, well, what's special about the Coolin Ridge, really. Um, and it also adds to the challenge to some degree. Um, we get a lot of maritime weather there. We get sea mists rolling in in rain. But we also get some really special weather on there, too. And doing the Coolin Ridge in, in good conditions is uh, sort of a bit of a dream for most climbers in the UK. Um, you can also do it in winter, and, you know, it could be a, a, a sort of a more wintry alpine challenge. But a summer, a summer traverse is something that people often aspire to for many years and it takes maybe a few trips before they get the right conditions to actually achieve it. Yeah, that's cool. You can give me a fair bit. So um, with the Coolin Ridge, it's a, it's a funny one. Some people like to go for the Coolin Ridge in a day, others like to bivy on the ridge. Um, and it's a decision you have to make if you're uh, keen to do the Coolin Ridge. And it's not always just about whether you can do it in a day, but it's whether you want to or whether you want to actually include the bivy experience as part of the ridge traverse. Um, for a lot of people, uh, actually staying out on the ridge overnight enhances the experience and it lets them enjoy the days, enjoy the climbing and just enjoy uh, waking up on uh, a route in the UK where you actually do, you know, quite legitimately need to bivy. Even if you can do it in a day, it's too, still two long days even with a bivy in the middle.
Climbers have been um, coming to, to Sky uh, to climb for over a hundred years, and um, the sense of history on Sky is uh, is really obvious uh, th throughout a ridge traverse or any climbing that you'll do on Sky. And some of the some of the major names in the history of British mountaineering appear fairly frequently on the ridge, such as Collie, and um, we've got Collie's Ledge and Collie's Roof and Collie's Root and Naismith. We've got Naismith's Root on the Bastia Tooth, um, Rayburn, uh, names like that. And there's also a, a local shepherd. Um, uh, who has a peak named after him, which is now uh, Skirmaconic. Um, so these names uh, appear as peak names and often root names on the ridge. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>